Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from Flame9VisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create gold silver particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Reshot. Are you looking for a free high quality stock photos, icons, illustrations? Then Reshot is a perfect place for you. You will find here free high quality stock photos, icons made by talented creators. Plus free illustration will be coming in June. All assets are 100% free and you can use it for commercial and personal projects. No attributes or sign up required to download and use assets from Reshot. So click the link in the description box below and download your free assets today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition and let's call it logo animation. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long. Then click on OK. Okay, let's import our logo and project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Okay, now select our logo and drag it into this timeline. Now make this logo a little bit smaller, something like this. Now select this logo layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to logo, then click on OK. Now go to project window and select our reflection map, then drag it into this timeline, then make it a little bit smaller something like this now select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for um, search for motion tile then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer now increase output width and height then click on mirror edges then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on title center then go to end of this animation and increase the x value something like this okay now um, select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to reflection map then click on ok now select this layer and then change the layer fragment to alpha mat perfect now select this layer then go to effect and preset window and search for cc globby lies then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer now go to blobbiness then uh, blob layer set it logo and uh, property set it alpha uh, then softness set it 6 and cut away set it 3 then go to light and then light type set it point light okay now go to um, effect and preset window and search for cc glass then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer then go to surface then go to um, then uh, bump map set it logo and then softness set it maybe uh, 45 then height set it minus 47 
and displacement set it minus 13 and then go to light and light type set it point light perfect looks good to me okay now create a adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer now uh, go to effect and preset window and search for curves then simply select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer now change the rgb curve to something like this perfect now again create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then again apply curves then change the RGB curves to something like this and then uh, go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen then apply onto this layer then sharpen amount to 30 perfect okay now select all layers then right click then click on pre-compose and uh, and rename it to gold logo then click on ok now select this layer and then go to layer and then click on auto trace then channel set it alpha and then click on ok then select this layer then press m on your keyboard then select all marks then press ctrl x on your keyboard then create a new solid layer so right click new then click on solid make it black and rename it to server then click on ok now select this layer and press ctrl plus v perfect now go to effect and preset window and search for server this is a third party plugin from video copilot it's 100% uh, free you can download this uh, plugin from link in the description box below okay now uh, apply this effect onto this layer now go to customize core and then core type set it to layer marks and then go then uh, glow intensity set it uh, 11 and uh, glow spared set it 0.3 and glow bias set it uh, maybe 0 0.50 looks good and core size set it 1.40 let's change the color i'm going with white now end size set it 0 and uh, start offset set it 55 and end offset set it also 55 now go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on start offset then go to around uh, 3 seconds then start offset set it 0 then go to around 2 seconds then set a keyframe on end offset then again go to around 3 seconds and end offset set it 0 now select this layer and then press U then select all keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease ok let's ramp view it
looks good to me okay now change this layer uh, mode to screen and then select this gold logo layer then create a mask rectangle mask something like this then press V on your keyboard then double click on this marks path and rotate the marks now go to mask and set a keyframe on marks path then go to around uh, 3 seconds then select these two path and change the position to something like this perfect now select these two keyframe then press f9 to make them easy ease then increase the feather perfect okay now drag this layer forward something like this perfect okay let's create a new uh, null object so right click new then click on null object now select this two layer and paint it to null one now go to beginning of this animation then press s on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it to one one zero and select our gold logo layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for cc burn film then select this effect and apply onto this layer now go to around 9 seconds or go to around 8 seconds then set a keyframe on burn then go to end of this animation and burn amount set it 100 or maybe 80 perfect okay now go to project window and then select our background then place it into this timeline make it smaller Then select this background and then go to effect and preset window and search for tint. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool. Then create a circle. And max mode set it subtract. Then press F on your keyboard. And increase the feather amount let's make it a little bit bigger perfect now create a new black solid layer then click on ok and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks path and hold down all then control then drag then simply click on invert 
Okay, let's ramp PV with. Our animation is complete. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. And don't forget to check reshot.